I'm quite a sensitive person. Um, and so my boundaries are what I feel like is, you know, I, I don't do yelling. I don't do, I don't do any form of sort of like fighting or attacking or insulting or like anything that really is unhealthy at all, you know, and that's just how I like to live, you know, so me and my partner both understand that. And we don't, we don't talk in that way. And I don't think my partner likes that either. So it's just, you know, you're sort of figuring this out when you're with another person romantically, how to address communication. Mm. Yeah. So just like you have mentioned that uh, communication, a person's communication style very likely has a lot to do of what they had experienced as a child. And, uh, um, you know, the thing is that a lot of people are not realizing that each person has a very, very different way of communicating. Like, for example, some people, when they are under stress, they want to be alone, you know? Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk, you know? Yeah. Right? And other people want to talk so much and express oh. everything and vent yeah. it all, right? And some someone else, like your partner, might be like really just want to get it out of themselves, you know, right? Their chest, you know, then they feel better. But the thing is that let's say is if we, each person is only focused on themselves, right? And they just do whatever whatever they are doing. Let's say both of them are under stress, you know, right? Mm -hmm. And one just want to have some space by themselves. And then the other one just want to get it out of their chest. You know, like they have no regard of how the other person feel. Well, that's not going to go well, right? So, yeah. And I have I have a few solutions to this, uh -huh. this thing that you brought up, right? Because actually me and my partner are exactly this way. <laughs> my partner, when he gets upset, he prefers space, right? And when I get upset, I want to vent it out like crazy, okay? So <laughs> most of the time, it's only one of us that's in stress, right? So it works. It balances out, you know, um, when, you know, he will listen to me when I want to vent, right? And when he feels upset, then I know, oh, okay, I'll give him space, right? However, when we're both in stress, then, oh, I want to vent. Oh, but he's unavailable because he wants space, right? So there, this is where, you know, logic needs to come into play in your relationship <laughs> because emotion cannot rule everything. What you want is not always going to be there, right? Mm -hmm. And our relationship is not, it's not codependent, right? I'm not dependent on him for me to have to vent to him when I'm upset, yes, right? Yes. Like, I prioritize at all times, we both prioritize our relationship over anything. So we're not going to burden our own stressors on the other person when we both just don't have the ability to, to handle that, you know? So I have other forms of, of support that I can access because I've developed those foundations in my life. I have a therapist. Okay. I have, you know, other people I can talk to if I, I need to vent something or I feel a certain way. And, you know, he has methods of, of being alone and, you know, separating himself and whatever. Right. So this is like, like, I won't lie. Like it sucks when we're both under stress, you know, and it, it took my brain a little bit to understand, right. Like, oh, this, you know, we're so good otherwise, but when we're like this, it's like, what do we do? But at the same time, what are you going to do? You know, like, you have to get along, like get on with your life, right? Like you have to work through your own stuff, be able to work through your own stuff. If you were alone, how would you handle something? Yes. You know? yes. So really developing that sense of self and also understanding that our relationship is more important than, you know, leveling off our burdens, right? That's, it's just logic. Well, that's like, that's because of the maturity that each one of you have already developed when you were alone yourself, yeah. you already done a lot of work. There's a maturity that, you know, able to handle actually alone. This is why actually is that a lot of people think, oh, I feel so bad. I feel depressed. You know, I need to have a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. 
but they are not realizing is that actually is that when you don't know how to be with yourself, it doesn't matter who you are with, you are going to run into problems, especially communication problems. Yeah. And I will say, you know, there are also, there are compromises that we do make sometimes, right? When we're in that situation, which is not often when we're both stressed out, right? There are compromises that we do make, right? Like he will, even though he wants to be alone or whatever, or he's, you know, feeling stressed out about life, he will still spend, you know, time with me, right? To give me that comfort of, oh, I have his support. But at the same time, I don't feel the need to like vent to him because I know he's stressed too, right? So like we we also like, we just are always prioritizing the relationship, right? So it's, there's always that in the back of our minds as we're sort of playing out these roles. So I will say that, 